my friend without you my friend and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again Pills, put your pinky rings up to the moon what you trying to do 24 cabot magic in the air head to toe so please look out hey what up pet squad hey we're back we are back like we never left back like we never left we did though because uh well, we did. it's been a long time it's been a long, long day without you my friend, friend. But I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. It's been a long, long day, long day from where we began. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Oh, oh. <sighs> yeah, man. Oh, snap. Put my hat on, my hat. This is my hat. So it's been a long time since we seen y'all. We miss y'all so much. Like we like we miss you. Like I was begging Melanie, like Melanie, please can we vlog today, man? I know it's 10 o'clock at night and I just got home from work. Can we please bash? She's like, boy, I'm trying to sleep. Leave me alone. But uh yeah, yeah. let me get that. Cause this is my swaggy, swaggy, swaggy daggy. Swaggy daggy. So yes, we miss y'all so we miss y'all so much. Sorry, uh, this is your first time here. Um Please subscribe to our channel. Please. Um, please subscribe to our channel. And those of our friends who've been, you know, subscribing, uh, been rocking with us, we miss y'all and we thank you and we welcome you back. We got some really good things going on for our family and that's really why good. we um, took our little hiatus. But we are planning on being more consistent with you guys. I mean, we only missed three weeks, but, you know, that's still a big deal, you know. So um, Three weeks. Three weeks without you guys is like three decades. It's like a lifetime, you know. But um, yeah, so we're about to do Q&A part two. We did a part one when we were real small, like 10 subscribers, but now we're doing a part two and we're up to what? Almost 400. 400, 400 plus subscribers right now. So all our new subscribers, these are old questions, but if you have some new questions, put them down right here at the bottom. Yes. So let's so, get right into it. Let's get right into it. The first question is from Matt Davis. Our brother-in-law, um, our brother-in-law, our brother in Christ. Hello. Okay, brother-in-law. Oh, okay. He just got married like a month or two ago. Matt Davis. All right, Matt. I just want to give my condolences for getting married. Whatever. I'm Congratulations. <laughs> when the cops next album dropping? Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Like four. All right. Let me call them and see. What's their number? Nine one. I'm in Detroit. You know they don't answer the phone. <laughs> wow. It's like, no, I ain't in Detroit. So, um, basically... Probably never, honestly. Well, I'm just being real. I don't want to say never. I mean, because the last time I checked, all four of us still wanted to do cops. It was just that um, we all have busy, busy lives. Like, two of the members of cops... Our fathers, providers, husbands, you know, like, you know, that's a big role in life. And two of us are mothers. And two of us are mothers. So it's like, it's so many things, you know, everybody's trying to bring in money for the family. Everybody's trying to take care of the kids. Trying. You know, <laughs> well, we're doing that. Let, let, let's just make that clear. Throwing shade. No, I'm just saying, I'm you know, saying. It, it's I'm hard work. Joking. And, you know, we don't have, you know, the free will or the liberty to do it all the things that we did back in the day like yeah, we would sit around and be in the studio all day like that was the life that was the life for us we had so much fun um we was like 17 18 19 that's when melanie no, fell we, in love with me boy bye um we trying to, i'm trying to work and do music because she's sitting over there winking at me that ain't true I'm that like, is that I'm trying is to worship true. the lord why are you winking at me and then i married her she made me i'm kidding i made her um yeah, okay yeah. so hopefully you know sometime soon i haven't talked to gary about it lately um i talked to portia about it she always ready but you know no, no jeremiah sure. always off the shore somewhere I'm, I'm rebellious very very <laughs> rebellious i was like no no i'm not stop stop <laughs> stop because people go stop and i wonder 
No, he no, rebellious. He got on that hat in church. Okay. Next question is from Ryan Williams. No, it's not. Oh, Ryan yeah, Williams, is. that's my bro. He just got married too. Can I hold a dollar? Of course. Of course, bro. You can hold it and give it right back. Exactly. Okay. Uh, Amelia Mariah asks, what is your opinion on stay-at-home mothers and wives? Ideally, I would like to do this for the child's benefit, but think, but think. She got, okay, but think some women go stir crazy and also dislike not having their own money. So essentially, my question is, are you a stay-at-home mom or would you like to? Why or why not? I wish I was a stay-at-home mom. I could sit home on my butt all day. You know what? I'm and not and her, I'm the, not second part, the second part to her question is, and what do you all think of the relationship dynamic? But let me pause and go back to the part where she said, my own money. Like, why do people, why do people in relationships think, you know, when they marry, uh, why, my money? What is, I don't think she mean it like that because I understand what she's saying. What she's saying is, even if you had a job and you had your own money, that don't mean you can still go out and spend it and do it. No, want. that's true. That's true. But that's, but that's not. Saying. That's not what she's saying. She's Call not it. saying that. Excellent. I want to hear it till you ask. <laughs> um, she's not nope, saying that because I, I get this vlog is over. You being disrespectful. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I, no, but I really understand what she's saying about my own money. It's not technically technically her own money, Did but she wants to earn something that she can say I earned. Yes. You know what I mean? It's Raising still it's still for the, the family. Biggest. Raising your, raising your kids and raising your kids and this is nothing against Amelia at all but raising your kids and putting into them the knowledge and understanding and you know all the skills that they need to learn that you do at home was going to pay off in the future. What that got to do with and money? It does, it's these mon really? What it have to do with money? What you put in your kids makes a difference further on in life but that on what type of money, money they will make. No, so, but I will. No, no, no. I, I, I know. This, so that's the problem. Uh uh. Listen. No, listen you, you take watching your kids, watch, watching your kids grow up and be great men and women is is something money can't buy. But you're you're taking this to a whole another level. This is the thing. She's talking. She wants to stay at home. This this is what but she said. But she wants her own money. You can ha make your own money at home, but that but you 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 blowing this out of proportion. This, this, she's not even asking are about. Are you arguing with me? I think I am. She said, "I would like to do this for the child's benefit, but I think some women go start crazy and also dislike not having their own money." Yeah. Sometimes I and I understand what she's saying when it comes to you know um, what did she say? She goes some, start crazy. Some women go start crazy and also dislike not having their own money. I've been there before. Like, it'll be some times where I'm like, Jeremiah, I have to get out of the house. Like, just leave, let me get my own time, you know? And it, it's possible, especially like if you're, even if you're having like some type of postpartum depression or something like that, if you're literally staying inside the house for like two weeks straight or like a month, two months straight until the baby can actually go outside, you're going to be like, oh my God, I need some fresh air. You know, and then like the part as far as when she said she wanted to make her own money, she, you know, it's not about her own money. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this check and spend it on myself. No, it's just something that you want to earn and something that you can say, hey, I put this to the table. I put this on the table so that my family can, you know, have it. Listen, some women wish it's women out here that got to get up and go to work every day. Because their husbands don't have jobs or or they have to work to help their husband out. Being a stay-at-home mom is a blessing. Like, you don't have to get out here and go labor hard and have to deal with all these special people. I mean, I know staying at home is it's not easy. It's hard. I'm not taking away from that. I'm saying, there's women out here that wish they can do that, but they can't. So when you got the opportunity, and enjoy it. Okay. I get it. So she's saying, are you a stay-at-home mom? Yes, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Would you like to? Why or why not? Um, I like being a stay-at-home mom. It's fun. Um, but it has its kinks to it. 
Like sometimes I do want to go out and have a social life and be like, oh yeah, my coworker. You know, just I just want to be, have like a social life with with coworkers and but stuff. But you have social life with other stay at home moms. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't get to like go out and have. Why not? A, I mean, I, I it's not like I'm just not permitted to at the time. Like I have things mm. to do around. And stay at home mom. First of all, a mom's job, period. And this is going to lead to um, s- something big. But just remember, I said this: a mom is way more than just a mom. I'll just say that. And no, no discredit to dads because dads are, you know, dads are like the most important part of the household. But don't just say, Got "Oh, she's right. a stay-at-home mom." It's like way more to that. My friend Taylor. Her question is. How did you adjust to having two children? What are the differences? Like grocery shopping, your daily routine, etc. So first so, of all, I want to say to Taylor, um, um, I will insert a picture of her book that she, um, she's the author of this book and it is phenomenal. Phenomenal? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. It's a book that teaches young girls to embrace who they are as far as um African American little girls it teaches them it's like a whole book girls who got hair like this the alphabet is basically portraying you know how the young girl should feel about their hair and their culture and natural hair so um please go buy her book i will put the link in the description it is awesome when i first had mm-hmm. lily it was fun um, it was just me and her. It was so much fun. Like if I had to go somewhere, I could just pick up and go. Thinking on a boy is like, oh my goodness. Like you get to see like what it is about having a boy. Like boys are something else. You have one ready, their hat is on, their coat is on, yada, yada, yada. Then you get the second one ready. But then the first one then took the hat and the coats off and stuff and want to drink stuff. Now you got to go back to the first one and get it ready and stuff like that. And then grocery shopping. I don't take the kids grocery shopping actually because um, I would have to put Lily in the front portion where you stick the legs out. And then I would have to put Levi in the actual cart. I can't do all of my grocery shopping like that if I have Levi big self in the cart. Cherie B says, what encouragement do you have for young and married couples? Anything concerning budgets and finances to adjusting or becoming one and so forth? Um, I'll just start with finances. Finances is uh, very important uh, when it comes down to uh, being married and things. Um, I think you. I think at the beginning you guys should like um, kind of lay down who is going to be in charge of the finances. Not to take away from the other person, but it's just important to, you know, be on the same page when it comes to the finances. So that would be like one step, I would say, from the, from the get-go. Another thing I would say, always have at least six months to a 12 months of income saved up in your savings account at all times. That way, if you lose your job, you have six months of money saved that can take care of um, take care of you know all of your expenses. Say if you lose your job tomorrow, if you got those six months or a year saved up, then you got six months to a year to find you know you know find a new job. But everything is taken care of because of those savings. So Tierra Jones had a question: How do you think your family dynamic would be different having two boys or two girls versus one of each? I guess when I first had Lily, um, I liked having a girl, of course. Um, it was so fun getting her dressed up and cute and everything. So easy to buy clothes for girls. Um, with Levi, it was like my eyes had been opened because I wasn't used to boys. I was used to, you know, girls. Lily was chilled back and Levi was just like, is just like everywhere. Two girls, I think it would be... I think it would be like maybe a little calmer around here. I don't know. I think it'll be any different. I oh. mean, <laughs> probably more guns if I had, you know, all girls. But... Ariel Coopwood said, um, being a housewife, how do you keep yourself from getting bored and still be a good mother and a wife? That's um, a good question. You have to find yourself um, or keep yourself busy. I don't mind as a devil's workshop. You know what I mean? It's the devil's playground. I thought it was the devil's workshop.
workshop. Keep yourself busy, you know. Do things at your church, do things at the house, extracurricular activities. I don't know, put your kids in some type of program. Something that just, you know, keep your mind racing. Laziness is expensive, you know. So, if you're bored sitting around with nothing to do, get up and do something. I don't care if it's washing the walls, honey. Fellas, fellas, you got to stay at home white. Get up in the car. Here's the visa. Here's the master. Here's the black car. And just go. Get a break. Get out. And women, do it. Do it. Yeah, there'll be some time when I'll be like, no, I just want to stay here, blah, blah, blah. I'll be like, get out the house. <laughs> the person that asked this question, her name is Davina. Hey, listen. <laughs> That's my favorite person in the whole wide world. Who is that? Davina, my hairstylist. Okay, I never met her. Yeah, you never met her, but she meets your money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yes. but um, yes, she I love Davina. She's like my favorite person in the whole wide world. She always, always gets me together. I'm seeing her as soon as I had this baby. She said, can I be in y'all show? Yeah. Of course. Maybe I should do a segment about you doing my hair or something. Kay Brown, Kay which Brown. is my sis, Kay she Brown. has a question. Um, she says, What's some advice you have to parents expecting their second child? Oh, she pregnant. Big parentheses. No, I'm not pregnant. Oh. Big capitalized. Oh, she had to say that because I was already prophesying it. Prepare. When you're pregnant and you have that first child, it's going to be a shift. Get some you. Get some alone time. Get Prepare. Get some alone time. Rest. You know, buy things for the baby. You know what I mean? Like, actually, like, plan things out, you know? Oh, uh, this is... Q&A part two, uh, right here below, right here at the bottom, right here, right there at the bottom. Um, if y'all got some more questions, you know, our new subscribers who we haven't really got to met like that, you want to get to know us more, put y'all some questions right at the bottom. I promise we're going to come back and we're going to comment immediately. Yeah, and um, another thing, we have some great things coming up. Big you know, things popping. We got, well, first of all, I'm going to be doing a pregnancy update because I haven't done one in weeks. Um, and also, our fifth year anniversary is coming up. We're going to be March going 30th. to March 31st. Let me, can I finish? I was about to say first. No, you weren't. I, you didn't give me a chance. Show the baby. Show the baby. I got to say that for the pregnancy update. But come okay, on, this is our family and friends. I'll I'll show the baby. So here is the here baby. Here is my baby. Oh Lord, look at her just grow on. Get ready, just come right out the loose. Come on. Thirty three weeks. Thirty three weeks. Wow. You. Do May eighth. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. You're next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we gotta go. We gotta go. Thank you, thank you. See you guys. Like this video, please get like a thousand likes. Please and like, share, and comment. Until next time, this is the Patman Show, and we love you guys. Pat Squad, peace. Bye. Now I don't even know what I would do without you You got me going crazy in my mind about you But I change my life, man, I probably wouldn't move I'd be paralyzed, blinded eyes I probably need to buy without water and live without food But if I tell the truth, I can't live without you He knows all my care, the hairs on my head Yeah, I tell me